young, young, brown, had a little Indian, young, brown, had a little Indian, one little young boy, one little two, three little Indian, four little five little six little Indian, seven little eight little nine little Indian, seven little Indian, little Indian, little Indian boys. The Indian must conform to the white man's ways, peacefully if they will, forcefully if they must. When a child from any of these tribes was taken to these Indian schools, the first thing they did was they cut their hair. They couldn't uh, sing their songs, they couldn't uh, converse their native language. In lots of cases, they simply tried to also break them up from talking and interacting with their own tribes people. We wanted to be more free and talk our language because, like I said, they wouldn't let us talk our language. And all oh, the sisters would whack us once we, they heard us talk our language. They were strict. They were strict. At last, however, the Indians could stand it no more. Their Congress was convened and I was summoned before it. We made a test case of Juan Ray Abeda's three boys, suing out a writ of habeas corpus. When Lummis filed the suit on behalf of Isleta in 1892, that challenged the legal status of Native people across the board in the U.S. And that's why the Lummis case was just outside the pale. It could not be engaged with or allowed to stand. Nothing but race prejudice stands between us and the truth. <laughs> 